everybody all right you guys back with another video so i'm going to be removing my old dip powder using these little um fingers i want to say they like finger holders um i picked up from my local dollar store i need some scissors you're gonna need some acetone pure acetone remover and you're gonna need some cotton balls or um some cotton wedges whichever you have you're gonna need a drill if you don't have a drill you can also use a um like a buffer brush because it does the same as the drill but the drill just gets the job done better and of course i have my little tools but i'm going to be removing my dip powder um off of my nails from i think i wore this about maybe three to four weeks you guys as you can see it's grown out but you're just gonna take your drill and kind of drip you want to basically take off the shiny coat so that's the top uh coat gel you want to take that off so that it makes it um easier for the solution to penetrate and take the dip powder off so i'm just going to go ahead and do this all over all of, um not of my nails because one of them had broken i had to take it off so i'm going to do this for the rest of my nails and then i'll be back to go ahead and inform you guys on the next steps okay you guys what you're gonna do is you're gonna take if you have cotton balls you don't have to do this but i'm using the um cotton ones for your face i'm gonna cut that in half and i'm going to put acetone on that as if it was a cotton ball and i'm going to put that around my nail and then put the cover over it this is basically like the same thing when you go to the nail shop they use foil paper um but these work a lot better you guys because it's silicone and it does not do much damage to your nails as you already know acetone is really damaging to the nails anyway so you want to try to keep them as much as possible you know in better health than what they are going to be after you remove the acetone so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps I'm using my acetone and my finger holders um for the rest of my nails so i did go ahead and finish up off camera i also did one hand off camera so i'm going to show you how to do it on your other hand you look at the nails though girl snow white though okay snow white honey so we're going to take your hand that is not done we're going to be using a cra dip powder and i picked this up from my local beauty i'm sorry nail supply okay the nail supply supplies all the stuff for nails you know so i do have my base coat which is going to be applied to my nail one by one is if you did if you did not see the previous video on how I used the dip powder you can check that out in the link in the description bar below so you're just gonna do this one by one dip it in the powder and I leave it in there for about five seconds take it off and dust off the powder and then I go ahead and complete it on the rest of my nails
Okay, you guys, I'm going in with my second coat of my base gel, and I'm going to do the same steps. I usually do this about three times just because I like mine to be really thick, but you can do it how many ever times you want to. You don't have to do it as many times as I do it. And I just dip my nail into the powder once again and then shake off the excess, and then I continue to go on to the other nails. Now, you guys, I'm going to show you how I got the silver port portion on my nails. I actually use a different dip powder, and I'm going to um, apply my base gel first, and I'm going to do the shape that I'm going to um, actually dip into the powder. I'm only going to do that section. So I'm not going to apply the base gel to the whole nail. It's only going to be to that section. I'm going to dip it in the powder, and again, wiping off the excess um, powder, and then I'm going to do this about two or three times just to I feel like it's to my liking and then I'll be back to let you guys know the next step set everything in so you're going to need your activator which is step number three you're going to apply this all over your nails and what this basically does is it sets the dip powder um into the nail so therefore once you start to file on it or you make any changes to the nail it does not take off of the dip powder because you don't want to do all this hard work and then you do something and your dip powder coming off because girl like who does that i will be real 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 mad about that you know, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my nails, setting it, and then I'm going to go ahead and file everything down using my drill and my emery board and my buffer just to make sure that I am shaping my nails. I did shape them prior to me putting the dip powder on, so me shaping them after shouldn't be that much work. But sometimes, y'all, I got to go in and I got to reshape everything because I, once I put the dip powder on, it kind of reshapes the nail. Kind of like you're doing, you know, you go to the nail shop and you get an acrylic on and they have to go back after they put their acrylic on and reshape the nails just a little bit. It works the same way with the dip powder. But I like the dip powder better because it's less work than doing acrylic nails like it is. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and file the shape of my nails back to my liking and then I'm going to apply my uh, top gel.
Okay, you guys, after you do file your nails, you have to go back in with the activator to reset the nail because basically you're taking off a layer of the dip power. So it is opening it back up. So you have to go back in with the activator and set each of the nails so that in once you apply the uh, top gel, everything is basically just, you know, solid, you know, it's just solid, girl. Okay solid because you want your nails to be solid now you don't want your nails to be just chipping off because that's just not cute y'all really not cute so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the top gel which is the step number four so you're going to apply the top gel all over your nails but i'm going to apply my uh swarovski rhinestones to my nails so i want to give it a little bit of a bling you know just to give it some some more oomph to it because i did apply the glitter but i'm just i was looking at my nails like girl um that's a little bit plain you know i want to add something else to it so that's what i did i'm going to add some bling to it so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the top gel and then when i apply the top gel i'm going to take a um my tweezers and then i'm going to apply the um crystal on top of the top gel and that's just basically going to make sure that it stays on there and yeah that's what we're going to do Okay, you guys, I tried to show y'all how I did it, but of course y'all see me. I was struggling with these tweezers, trying to put these crystals on, dropping them on the floor and stuff like, girl, get it together, honey, get it together. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, you guys, just because I was making a mess. So yeah, girl, here is the final look, girl. Look at these nails. They going to be blinging and ringing and just look at that, honey. This is the final look, you guys. I did place diamonds on my nails and I also put circles on my nails. So yeah. I hope that you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you thumbs this video up also share this video make sure you subscribe to the channel you guys and stay tuned for another video